Chickshaw. This is the same one that uh, Justin Rhodes put up plans for. I got the plans, put them to work, and uh, now our chickens have a great place to go to work. So follow along on this build series as we get to build. <laughs> y'all after having all my tools in storage for three years I was able to build the shop throw everything in here it's been a complete mess for a long time but now I have enough open room here to start building this chick shop okay are you dizzy yet I am so the first thing we're gonna do is start taking our lumber all of our two by fours and cutting them to length we'll get all that done and then we will head to the table saw we will cut all of our two by fours into two by twos. And then after all is said and done, after all of our lumber is at the appropriate size, we will start assembling this thing. So let's get to the first step. Okay, so there you have it. There is our waste. That's what's left over that hasn't been used yet. Uh, we have the plans there. We've got these long pieces and all of these shorter pieces, some cut angles for braces, etc., etc. We'll get into all that later, but that is 11 eight foot two by fours. Uh, Justin's plans do a good job of eliminating waste um, so that you're not wasting your two by fours and have a bunch of scrap left over. So anyway, uh, on to the table saw. Okay, I have got all of the 2x2's cut out to their appropriate sizes. Uh, we have Justin's cut list here. I already moved on. But his cut list, got all those done. And we are moving on to the actual building of it now. Um, so, follow along for that. I'm gonna love you, baby. So many people can incorporate the blues, trap music, electronic music, and chickens together. You're welcome. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me cheap. You can say I lay a Z. You can say I weep. You think that using her would get to me. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I will break my eyes. When it comes to her, you better 
Well, this build is going pretty good, actually. Um, Justin's plans are pretty right on. Um, I didn't see anywhere in the original uh, list of materials where you're supposed to get some one bys, some one by twos, and uh, so I had to kind of scrounge around and, and make that happen. Uh, I screwed up and can't follow directions apparently, <clears throat> and bought 20 inch wheels. Now you probably saw me preface that in some graphics or something earlier in this video, but I got 20 inch wheels. Now that's going to cause some problems with some other measurements because that means that everything ultimately is three inches lower. So uh, I've got to either pony up some extra money and buy the correct wheels or adjust everything and I'm kind of on the on the fence on this with but I think I'm going to adjust everything don't think for a second that this is a cheap project he has this uh, estimated on bill of materials for $800 to build this thing and of course he uses different things he, he uses cedar wood um, which jacks the price up extremely high um, he does some other things that I'm not doing. So, it's, it's expensive enough. And I don't think I want to spend another $40 on this. So, I think I'm going to start adjusting everything to deal with the three inch difference. So, the front legs, I'm going to cut off three inches shorter. That means there's a brace that goes back. It's going to be adjusted in length. Probably the door. There's probably other things that are going to have to be adjusted. I haven't looked for uh, looked in the plans further to see what all else I have to build on this. I may be wasting my time and, and material and kick myself later and find out that I have to go with the 26 inch wheels. But that's what I'm going with right now. So way out here in the weeds and stuff, I have some spare metal. I got some, some blue here that's cut at all sorts of angles and there's some brown. I think that brown's about five foot. That's probably 15 sheets of different sizes, different colors and everything. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to use for this chick shawl. It's just going to be ugly. It's going to be, it's going to have several different colors. but. It is what it is. Okay, so I've got this, uh, I know there's a real word for it. I've had it for so many years and never get to use it. But this is uh, to put on the edge of metal. And since cutting with a saw, cutting metal you don't get the factory edge you don't get a clean edge you get all these little burrs I'm gonna attempt to put this on the edges on the front and the back uh, to keep me and the kids scratch and cut free if it doesn't work uh, which because this stuff is I don't know it may not bend the way I want it to if it doesn't work it won't be in the video <laughs> Anyway, if you know what this stuff is called, uh, put it down in the comments because I have no idea. I just, I, I don't even know where I got it. I've had it for who knows how long. So everything's going pretty well. I've been debating this front door. I have a bunch of plywood over there. I have half inch and three quarter and quarter inch. And then I have some uh, almost half inch OSB. And none of those are really going to fit the bill. I mean, the, the 
plywood, the real plywood would work, uh, except that's cabinet grade plywood, and I'm not about to cut that up. So what I do have is this door, this hatch, and you'll see in this clip, it's the matching one that is on the front of my shop. Anyway, uh, I have another one and it is almost perfect. I, I have to you can see there, all I have to do is cut, put this on the table saw and cut that off to make that fit and the height is right. It's a little heavy but I'm actually kind of liking that idea of it being heavy because it's going to counteract the weight a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's my kombucha. Plum flavored. Plums we uh, juiced here. Anyway, don't know why I got off on that topic. Anyway, uh, so that's pretty heavy, but it's cedar. It's not going to rot. I can put the cleats on the back of it. I can make it a door. It looks good. I think I'm going to use it. So there you have it. I know this seemed like a big old music video and it pretty much was intended to be that way. This is not my design and I don't want to uh, piggyback off of uh, Justin's stuff. If I change it up a little bit, then I'll let you know. Um, all my other build videos, those are my designs and everything. And so I explained a lot more. This one was just to show you mainly the build. And some things now that, now that it's built and you've seen it built, here it is. And we've been using it for about a week now. And I gotta say that I'm, I'm actually a lot more pleased with it than I thought it would be. Now, that's not to say that I had expectations of being disappointed, but I really like this. There are a lot of things going into this that I really like. And let's go over a couple of things that uh, I didn't show you on camera, uh, and things that I think could probably be improved. First thing, let's go ahead and get the improvement out of the way because there's one thing that I would improve. Back here, this uh, the kickstand, there's a kickstand. Uh, it didn't take long for that to break on me. Now, um, most people have really flat ground, you know, or somewhat flat ground to deal with, and we don't. Um, and because of that, that, that kickstand didn't last very long. I'd like to see, I'd like to figure out a way to maybe do an adjustable kickstand to, to accommodate different levels um, because it did break fairly quick um, not a design flaw really that was cheap hardware on my part um, and uh, it probably still needs to be a little more robust anyway so the girls are probably not going to mind me closing them up because they get they do get closed up here every night it only took them a couple hours to get, to get used to this thing this is working out well uh, I added a little little board here to to latch that. Uh, super nice. The I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Uh, we have eggs. Like I said, it didn't take them hardly any time at all to get used to this, um, and they're all laying in different different uh, crates already. Uh, this pole does work uh, I'm using I'm sure I'll cut the camera here in a minute the pole everything everything is great all right so my mess up on the wheels the getting 20 inch wheels versus 26 inch wheels I definitely see the 26 inch wheels being a, a pretty big benefit when it comes to uh, rolling it around on un, uneven ground like we have um, uh, the extra the extra clearance helps and right now we've got Brahmas in here and they still get under there and and deal with the shade and they're a big bird so I don't think that's an issue dealing with the, the height for your, the birds 
being allowed to get under there for shade. They want shade to go inside anyway, but they still get under there if they want to. Other than that, y'all, I am just ecstatic. And the girls, the girls are really happy with this design. Um, everything, it's got that flip up bar that we throw up at night. Probably before too long, we won't have to do that anymore, but we do that every night to keep them from uh, going to sleep in their nesting boxes. Um, everything's balanced. Oh, man, how easy this thing is to move around is ridiculous. I mean, like, a toddler can pick it up. Now, moving it, you know, pushing it, there, it requires a little more uh, strength, but uh, to pick this thing up, I'm, I'm talking one finger. It's, it's so balanced, and everything works out really well. Anyway, y'all, I want to uh, get out of here. <clears throat> I want to thank you for, for sticking it through on this video. I know it's not my typical build, um, and we didn't go into depth, but you know, it's not my it's not my design. So I just wanted to show you building it, and throughout time, over the course of our vlogs, I'm sure that I will be giving updates on pros and or cons to this design so far like I said kickstand is the only thing that I would change in the back um, and I'd probably oh big important thing if you build this uh, once again all that stuff is that I'm gonna leave all the information down in the description uh, you need to sign up for Justin's newsletter and then you can download his plans for free there's also a video and I highly suggest, I didn't watch the video until I was done, basically, with building this thing. And I wish I would have watched it beforehand. That would have helped so much more. Um, but, anyway, it is what it is. Thank you all for, uh, for watching the build. And throughout the rest of the vlogs, you'll see more information coming about it. But for now, I'm going to close this out. And I appreciate you all sticking with me.